hello everyone today we are going to learn uh, oops lab program 8 the question is write a java program that implements a multi thread application that has three threads first thread generates a random number for every second in the sense first thread it will generate a random number for every second second thread computes the square of number and it will print also third thread will will compute uh, cube and it will print the value of that cube so basically here we are going to use multi-threading concept in that java program uh, first you need to learn what is thread what is multi-threading what is process difference between thread and process you, this would be your viva part and uh, oh, there are mainly two ways of uh, generating a thread one is using random and one more is uh, one is using runnable and one more is using extend so extend thread these two ways for generating a random number both the ways have been implemented in this particular program so directly move on to the program package lab programs is common it's left to you whichever you want to do and this is for generating a random number because our thread is, uh, first thread is to generate a random number so we have a class called as random underscore num which is going to implement run number implements in the sense runnable is an interface because interface only uses in implements so runnable is an interface so runnable contains a run method so if you see here public void run all these are built in public void run inside this we are going to generate a random number random ra equals to new random so this is a object ra is an object what is the type of object it is random is a type of object now since for every second we need to generate random numbers so for imagine like i want to generate only 10 uh, numbers for every second it keeps on changing it is for that we are going to use for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus we are generating one random number as you can see ra dot next integer 100 and we are giving a space to r so basically r contains a random number random number should be in between 100 like that we have made it System dot out dot print ln random number plus r in the sense we are displaying what is the random number it has generated. Once random number has been generated, we are doing square. Square is a class and s is an object new square this square class you are going to create down it's there code is there for creation of that square and s dot stat s dot stat in the sense thread will be called to generate uh, to create a square of that particular random number. Same thing cube cube c equals to new cube of r in the sense cube of r will be given to uh, uh, cube number s dot stat so uh, this also a thread so always remember whenever c dot stat is called or s dot stat is called or ra dot stat is called means we are uh, calling the thread thread will start executing simultaneously uh, try in the try we are making for every second we need to generate right so uh, milliseconds we are going to do sleep for thousand milliseconds in the sense one second one one delay you give like that we are putting that in thread thread you need to generate after one one second one one second that was in question so only this particular line has come then catch interrupted exception ex any interruption occurs in between means we will display that interruption message so this is basically for random number this entire thing is for random number till here since i told like square is a class which we have implemented this is a class as you can see down class square which is going to extend the thread till now we saw implement see this is implement implements runnable i told right threads can be implemented in two ways one is implements runnable and one more is extend thread so this is for extend thread square is going to extend the thread int x this is for our uh, local variable in the sense class variable public square is a constructor because it has same name as a class name int r r equals to uh, x equals to a r we are initializing this line is not required constructor stub uh, this line uh, commented one not required then since i told wherever thread is there the run method should be there so run in run we are going to write the logic what you need to implement so int s q is a variable square equals to x square because square means x square x is what r random number which we got so finally square of uh, whatever x value is there what s q means square we have generated so this is this much is for generating the square now similar way for cube cube is also same thing if you see class cube extend thread x same thing cube this is also a class uh, constructor cube cube same name r is nothing but generator which we called 
x dot r x equals to r we are initializing x value and as of now x is random number so public void run run means logic we are going to write into cube cube equals to x into x into x uh, cube of that number and finally display purpose and finally in the main method if you see public class oop8 public static void mainstream arguments followed by that this should be the same name as class name random number n equals to random number where is this random number random number is the first class which we have already created thread is a built-in class t equals to new thread thread of n means random number which we have generated that, that many uh, numbers we need to generate so t dot start here also this is this start is for random number and up if we go in the random class we have s dot stat and c dot stat so three classes we have created so in this way you are going to create thread now we'll directly move on to the program in the program if you see we need to go for file we need to go for new we need to go for java project in java project we'll give lab program if left to you whatever you want you can give not required to create and double click on that and SRP right click go for new go for package first we need to create a package always remember we need to create package I'll just give my name right click on package go for new again create go for class and here the class name is OOP 8 click on finish no changes and from here your actual program typing starts seems to consume time I'm just going to copy the program Again, copy the program from the cube uh, OOP8. Copy the entire program and paste it. We'll see if any errors are there. As of now, I'm not able to find any errors. This particular line is not required. So, delete this particular line and finally run the program. Run as. So, once you run the program, here you can see the output. No input, nothing is given. For one one second, this particular line, for one one second, this particular line will be generated. So, we got our output on the screen. That's all. Thank you.